Welcome to your weekly UAS news update. This is the week of August 16, 2021. This week we got four topics, actually plus a bonus topic. I wanna to talk about some stuff we've been doing at Pilot Institute. Uh, some good news, some not so good news. The first one we actually missed last week because it happened the day after we recorded. Uh, Randall warned us the uh, the C, well, the ex-CEO of Hotel has resigned from Hotel, so we'll talk about that. Uh, we'll talk about DJI and Hotel that uh, settled a lawsuit that, well, it was uh, a long way coming that's been going on for a long time. We'll talk about a drone that spots burglars and help arrest them after uh, they were doing a break-in. And then lastly, we'll talk about a drone that was spotted at 8,000 feet up in the air. So let's get to it. First thing this week, not so good news, uh, kind of a shock actually. Randall Warnes, that was the CEO of Hotel, announced that he resigned. This happened last week. Like I said, we kind of missed it because I was just right after we had recorded and edited our, our show already. And um, uh, Randall cited a few reasons why he decided to do this, uh, basically saying that uh, at one point he ran head to head with other people in the company that uh, were trying to influence his decision, I guess. Uh, he was also told that he had to fire an employee and didn't want to do that. So um, after trying to fix it, he said that he decided to take the, the high road and resign, uh, which is really too sad. Uh, we interviewed Randall uh, several times, talked to him several times offline. A uh, great guy, it had a great vision for Hotel. Now, obviously, this is not the end of it for Hotel. Uh, they'll be able to move on with a new CEO and do uh, hopefully what kind of keep on with the, the, the vision that Randall had for the company. Uh, he had brought in a lot of visibility to the company, a lot of hope from people, uh, and hopefully, you know, uh, Hotel can continue doing what uh, Randall had in mind and uh, and continue to make Hotel a good candidate to compete with DJI. Uh, competition is great. Competition is amazing for all of us. We want to see these companies succeed and compete with each other because it means that uh, they come up with better product and um, just a good thing for everyone. So uh, we know Randall has something planned. We don't know what it is. Uh, we hope that he can announce it soon and we, we wish him the best, obviously, and we wish Hotel the best as well uh, moving forward. He had put together a great team that is still at Hotel. Uh, he had hired quite a few heavy hitters, uh, John McBride being one of them. We had also talked to John, uh, somebody who's been in the industry forever. Uh, I always like to say he was in the industry before the industry was the industry. And uh, so we, we wish all of them the best. And uh, we'll, we'll certainly be talking about Randall again wherever he moves next. Speaking of hotel, they settled a, an old lawsuit with DJI. Uh, there was a dispute over a patent that happened back in 2018. Uh, hotel had sued DJI for patent infringement that included obstacle avoidance, the, the rotor assembly, and then a new way to switch batteries. Uh, hotel originally received the patent for these fixed rotors uh, for an aircraft, and this was actually seen in some of the DJI aircraft, including the P4 lineup, the Phantom 4, and in the Mavic line uh, back in 2013. So the patent claim was filed in 2018. They finally settled. There's not really a whole lot of information about the settlement itself, what it consists of, but uh, that's one we can uh, put away. Next thing, didn't happen in the US, this happened in the UK, in uh, Nottinghamshire. And what happened is there was uh, the police responded to a bank intruder alarm and when they got there they couldn't find anyone, they couldn't find anything. They decided to fly a thermal drone and then they were able to actually spot three suspects uh, and they were found on the roof of the bank and then taken into custody. So uh, a win for the drone here or for thermal technology I should say but uh, when it's nice and easy and can be uh, basically set up on a drone to be uh, to be flown up in the air it opens up a lot of different opportunities. Last thing, I kind of debated talking about this one. Uh, this is a crew on the JetBlue flight that reported a drone six miles northeast of the Boston Logan Airport at an altitude of 8,000 feet AGL. 8,000 feet AGL. Um, the reason I don't like to report these is because uh, we never really have proof that it was actually a drone. I don't want to be that guy that says, well, drones don't fly high and drones don't fly close to airports, because they do. We know that. We know people uh, do stupid things or people do things that they're just not aware of. But 8,000 feet, 
that aircraft is flying pretty fast at that altitude, it's kind of hard to believe that you have the time to see uh, uh, such a tiny drone. So uh, when I see these reports, I kind of like to bring them up because I like to open the discussion as to whether or not these things happen or as to whether or not it is actually physically possible to see a drone at that altitude. So um, I hate it when uh, Drones are in the news for for bad reason, whether it's real or not, perceived or or or, or real. Um, in this case, this is something that kind of puts a black eye on on everyone. So. Anyway, uh, next thing, this is good news. Uh, Pilot Institute updates. This week we partnered with the Excel High School to provide their students with airplane and drone training courses. This is big because uh, Excel High School is one of the uh, top online high school in the country. And this is actually a concept that I was not necessarily familiar with until we started talking with their owner who happens to be a student in our course. And um, and and these schools are, are amazing. They actually provide, they are accredited and they actually provide a high school diploma at the end of it. And now this school has the ability to help students get into the aviation industry. And this is something a big win for me personally. Uh, this has been my lifelong goal of educating the next generation of pilots, of getting kids uh, involved in aviation and interested in aviation. Uh, I started at a very young age looking at airplanes and, and, and loving aviation and uh, ended up doing something with it. So uh, I hope we can get more and more kids interested in this path and, and wanting to be pilots, wanting to be drone pilots, whatever it is, uh, just being involved in, in aviation in general. So that's, uh, that's something I'm really excited about. Also, we released two new courses. Uh, one that we released last week pretty late uh, is our free COA course. Now, if you don't know what a COA is, a COA is a certificate of authorization, which is something that is provided to public safety agencies. Now, I know a lot of you that watch uh, don't work in the public safety world, but we have a lot of public safety customers and we wanted to create this course to help them apply for this certificate of authorization. Um, it's a little bit like part 107, but with slightly different rules. That's the, the easiest way that I can kind of explain it without going into too many details. But uh, this module is actually available for free. We made it available for our public safety partners because we believe in helping them do something safe out there. So uh, this is something that uh, you can find on our website. And then the second course that we just released uh, in the last few days is called our NIST course. And again, this is kind of a novel concept. NIST is a government agency that creates standards and they created this beautiful set of maneuvers that you can perform as a drone pilot and this is all standardized it's designed primarily for public safety but I always like to tell people this is something that anybody can do as long as they're willing to kind of build their own NIST lane it's called a NIST lane and uh, in this course we actually go over all the details of how you build the lanes and then how you set them up and how you fly them how you score everything so this is something that again is geared towards our public safety uh, folks but also is available to anyone else who wants to do it so uh, we'll put links down there if you want to take a look at these new courses uh, we spend a lot of time designing them, recording them, and uh, and making them available to you guys. So head over there and um, and make sure to enroll. And this is really all I have this week. So as always, if you're not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button, like, comment, do all the things that you do. Uh, we get hundreds of comments every week, and I, I love watching them. That's you guys watch me on Friday morning. I watch you guys leaving the comments on Friday. So make sure you leave a note, and uh, even if it's uh, just something to say, something nice, and then uh, we'll see you guys next week.